If you look at it from a playing perspective, first and foremost, I think individually, um, when you assess your performance and you sometimes go home after a good game and think I had a good game today, and then obviously when you see clips or maybe another analysis of it, it kind of changes that perspective and it helps because that reflective practice in terms of what you learn from like certain mistakes or areas of the pitch that you thought you did well, whereas you could do better, helps as well. Um, I always thought it was a tool used to probably hammer players in the past, but the, the more I've obviously started working with it from a coaching perspective, it's kind of opened up my mindset to um, how we can help the team overall um, and how we can help players individually improve, especially sometimes the players I'm working with are very young, um, very talented players, but they're maybe looking for a contract in England or, um, to go professional. So we know that environment, what it's like across there. So the importance of analysis and making sure that they leave this country with as much information and, and as much backing and good information that analysis provides. Young players are already up to speed with that side of things, the technology side of things. So when they see clips themselves playing, it's, it's brilliant in terms of reflection, in terms of what they can see and what they can learn from their mistakes. Um, coaches sometimes have this problem of maybe trying to over communicate and talk too much. And sometimes the players don't take that inf information on board. Whereas when they see it visually, that perception, it helps them and it's a, it's a better coaching tool for the coach and it's a better understanding for the players. Because for me, it sets you up for the season in terms of how you train, what, what specific areas you work in within training. And in game situations, it's great for reflection when you come up against an, an opponent. For example, if Duncan and Swifts are playing, I don't know, Linfield, and we, and we know Linfield's style, style, it's a great opportunity for the manager to go back and watch the previous game pick out areas that we could maybe hurt them in and areas that they could hurt us in and set up the team appropriately. It's very user friendly, easy to use and um, from for me it loves the game so much. It, I, I love it. I love the fact that obviously you can draw your lines, you can see your, your formation, your setup, you can see the, um, the big picture of the game and sometimes as a player and as a coach that, that's more important in terms of than maybe standing on the, the sideline watching the game for the 90 minutes. It's that reflection afterwards, okay, what did we do well? And for me, it highlights everything, and uh, it's a great tool for learning. And especially when you're talking about coach development, it's something I'd recommend for all coaches to start looking into in terms of watching games back and seeing problem areas, triggers, um, information that they can learn from.